Zuma is allegedly sick and rumored to have fallen a few times at his home. Zuma is allegedly sick and rumored to have fallen a few times at his home. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Dr. Jones. Why not TV? Please subscribe. But it's okay. He will leave to see the elections. Don't worry. He was a bit dizzy. That's all. He fell here at home in the Kwa da Kwa Dunuse, and it was frightening because he's quite strong, but he's fine now. Zuma's ill health sparks concerns after recent falls. Former President Jacob Zuma's health has become a focal point of concern among his supporters following reports of illness and multiple falls at his home. With national elections looming on the horizon, anxiety mounts over the well-being of the political figure. According to sources close to the, his family, the former president has experienced bouts of dizziness and has fallen several times while at home. These developments have ignited worries among his loyals and his loyalists who fear the potential impact on his ability to engage in political activities and campaigning ahead of the upcoming elections. In response to inquiries about his condition, a family member reassured supporters stating, but he's okay, he will leave to see the elections, don't worry, he was a bit dizzy, that's all, he fell there at home and it was frightening. The news of his health issues comes at a pivotal moment in South Africa's political landscape, with the country grappling with various economic and social challenges. As political parties gear up for the upcoming elections, the health status of key figures like the former president becomes a topic of public interest and speculation. Observers note that the health of former president could potentially impact the political dynamics within the ANC and broader electoral landscape, particularly if his, his ability to actively participate in campaigning or public appearances is compromised. His supporters who have long relied behind and rallied behind him are closely monitoring developments and hoping for a swift recovery as the nation braces for the electoral contest ahead. Someone commented and said, but the stupid MKP supporters want to be led by dead men walking shame. Another one commented and said, after stealing Mandela's legacy, now he wants to be buried with him. Another one commented and said, who cares about his health? Too many criminal cases will make him fall. Eight years is not child's play. Another one commented and said, lol, why he don't die is a criminal. Another one commented and said, but he was declared terminally ill. That's why he was released on parole. He was supposed to be home, not running around promising people things he couldn't do when he was the president. He must just do himself a favor, staying home and relax. Another one commented and said that Jacob Zuma is just afraid to face the constitutional court. He will always choose when to be sick. Another one commented and said, when he sees that the door is about to close, his lawyer will be crying for his mercy, claiming his health and everything. Let him stand at a trial and see his days in court. Another one commented and said, your sins will find you out. Let's leave it to see arrogance versus the law. Another one commented and said, don't call us stupid you. Another one commented and said, Ellis Seller knows that his corruption uh, for arms deal is around the corner on May. Now he is faking illness. If this is true though, 
Another one commented and said, if it, if it is true, then that is how God punished the sinners of this country. A lot of them are in the line for punishment. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Dr. Jones. Why not TV? Please subscribe. Bye for now till we meet again next time. Subscribe.